Hey everybody, Judah Hoover coming to you here uh, with another video. I'm trying to use my big fat head to uh, block that sun and so you can see this uh, nice house behind me here. I have some photos of this house, but I wanted to shoot a video as well so you can see how nice it is on the inside. It's an A quality house. I don't know if you can um, hear the highway in the background. We're right off of uh, the 81 exit here, uh, right by uh, Carlisle. So super easy access. Um, one of the great things that you look for when you're looking for a Class A house is good access to transportation. Uh, here in central Pennsylvania, that means uh, major highways and interstates and other markets. That might mean uh, commuter, um, you know, commuting by mass transit and things like that. Excuse me while I struggle with some words. Uh, there is not a garage with this house, but you do have a carport that you can see there over my right shoulder. And uh, we're gonna take a look on the inside of this house and show you just how beautiful it is on the inside and what a class A rental property looks like. All right, so we are now on the inside of this gorgeous class A property. I hope that my voice is not booming too much in this microphone. Just a great property, uh, hardwood floors, great front door, great entryway. Uh, it is hot water elect, or excuse me, hot water oil uh, baseboard heat system. So there's a oil furnace in the basement that is going to heat hot water pipes. Uh, there is air conditioning in this property, which is great if you as a homeowner or a future landlord we're ever going to want to flip this property you know you always have to take into account that then you've got these radiators to deal with here and what this homeowner has done is decided to leave the very efficient oil boiler and oil heat system in place but then just put uh, an air conditioning system in and i saw the compressor outside it looks like a really neat system this is kind of a cool thing that i just noticed so there's obviously this uh, wood firebox or wood stove here uh, but the owners kind of put two Yankee candles in there kind of as a decorative piece and also just a kind of subtle way of saying hey let's not use this actually for fires let's just have this kind of be a uh, pretty thing fire extinguisher in the kitchen always nice to see gorgeous countertops here in this kitchen uh, black appliances that match that is great. Kind of a small backyard is nice because there's not a lot to mow there. Uh, little eat-in kitchen breakfast nook thing. And then this property has four bedrooms. So the one here that we're going to go to first is kind of the least functional as a bedroom. But because there's no, there's no real doorway here for this. Let me get on some extra lights. Uh, but this could definitely be used and function as a bedroom, has an exterior door there, or you could use this as an office, kids play area, or something like that. Again, gorgeous dark brown, natural hardwood floors throughout. You can't tell, um, but I can tell that these are natural hardwood floors being right here. There is uh, some LVP, luxury vinyl plank, that comes in similar colors to this, but this is the actual real deal. And again, you have your two AC ducts here, central air throughout the whole house. One full bath right here, stand up shower. And then this is bedroom number two with air conditioning duct, plenty of closet space. We're gonna go downstairs into the basement in just a second after I show you these other two bedrooms and what they look like. Now remember when we were outside, we talked about the carport. So this kind of is a window looking out into that carport, which you can use as a shed right beside the house or something like that, however you see fit. Um, but it is wide enough for a car. And so this is uh, bedroom number three. And then bedroom number Four is over here. I think this is the largest of the bedrooms. Really nice, big bedroom. Plenty of 
floor mounted radiating, radiating heat there from the oil hot water system. Second, full bath. This bath also uh, has a tub, not just a, uh, not just a shower. Nice little sink set up there. Uh, it's a, you know, a, a vanity that's not quite a pedestal sink, sink, but a little bit larger. This is very common in these houses where you've got some attic access, but also a whole lot of storage uh, right there. And down in the basement, you're gonna love what I found down here. The basement for this property is, could actually function as a fifth bedroom. A lot of people could potentially use this as a bedroom. Also, if you had you know, two kids that you wanted to put down here and kind of share some space, um, that would work very well. This could be a, a play area or kind of like an adult uh, getaway retreat, man cave, they call them all kinds of things. Um, plenty of outlets making you, as I was saying, plenty of outlets making you think that this would be ideal for setting up some uh, electronic entertainment and that kind of thing. Washer and dryer, uh, what you see is what you get. They come with the property. This is kind of the unfinished side of the basement. And what's great about these unfinished sides of the basement is you can really get a look. Number one, what does the foundation look like? All those cinder blocks look fine. Uh, there's no deflection, no slide sliding uh, or anything like that. Built-in radon mitigation system already in this property everywhere in central Pennsylvania just because of the nat nature of the Geology around here, radon is a very common problem, but it's uh, taken care of here. How about that? That is some old copper piping. You do not see main drain lines in copper piping like that uh, too much anymore. Kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, disturbed some dust with that one. Uh, all of these floor joists look excellent. From an inspection standpoint, this place is just great. I am flying through this house only because there is not much uh, to comment on here at all. Um, boiler system that is still in use. There is a oil, heat, and AC at this property. That's pretty uncommon. Uh, and there we have, that is so nice. Look at that. So this is about four and a half years old. I usually get 10 to 12 years out of a good hot water system. Um, we have a electrical cord coming right out the top. We have these two spots where the anodes go and there's no gas line coming around and going in the side here like there would normally be if this was a gas hot water heater. It's very important to know, do I have a gas hot water heater? Do I have an electric hot water heater? What do I have? Another thing that you can always check is, you know, because these tanks are always left here, sometimes whether the oil is still uh, in use or not, people usually leave the oil tank in place. You can follow this little metal line that runs the whole way over into the front of i'm going to follow it on camera but i can follow it with my eye believe me uh right here to the base of the oil system don't messy with this don't monkey with this i've flipped a whole bunch of houses and i don't even touch this at all as a tenant you shouldn't as a landlord you shouldn't you should only mess with this if you absolutely positively know what you're doing uh nine times out of ten you're going to get yourself in trouble but man this property is just such a great place i cannot say enough things about it it is what i mean and what i'm talking about when i say class a property there's a quality properties b c and d and this thing is class a straight up all right just to wrap this video up uh if you like this please uh give me a like give me a share uh share this video with other people who you know might be interested in content similar to this i'm kind of facing the other way uh just so that you don't have the sun in your eyes uh this time the sun's in mine but that is an excellent example of what a class a rental property looks like 
Uh, you're not going to have as much cash flow on a property like this. Uh, the cash flow is going to be very tight, uh, but you are going to get more appreciation out of it and more principal reduction. And if you want to invest in Class A properties, uh, they might not look like this when you buy them, but this is what you're looking for uh, as a finished product when it comes to Class A rental properties. Thanks for joining us on this video and give me a like and a subscribe, everybody. Thanks.